starts to move a little more rapidly to the east and northeast. So that will help to maybe spread a couple more little sprinkles across more territory through the evening and late night hours. But as this circulation moves past our area overnight and through the morning, that's when we'll get that cooler trend once again and the wind shift. They will become more west and northwest and it's not necessarily going to be windy or breezy, but you may notice just a little more airflow coming with this change as you wake up and head out the door tomorrow morning. The sky may not look very different. It's still likely to be cloudy, but there is a little more confidence in the drier trend that can help to at least reduce the cloudiness somewhat. I don't think it's going to be a fully sunny afternoon, but we could see just a little more brightness breaking through some of those clouds with a lighter northwest wind tomorrow. Likely another day in the 50s, kind of like what we had uh, over the weekend, just a notch warmer than that, I guess you could say. We'll start the morning between 45 and 50 in most areas, and again, we'll end up in the mid 50s to near 60 degrees for some areas in the southeastern Big Bend. With winds that are still coming in from the southeast tonight offshore, then more of a northeast to northwest wind transition in the morning. Wind speeds are up a bit, but just below advisory criteria. Sky should stay mostly cloudy over water and over land, at least until mid afternoon tomorrow. And those highs, they'll stay on the cooler side of things for the next few days to come. Slight bump up in those high temperatures by the end of the week ahead of our next low pressure system. That will cause another scattering of showers and another surge of cold air for the upcoming week.